सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एंजियोटेंसिन कन्वर्टिंग एंजाइम इनहिबिटर्स राइट एंड वी हैव डिस्कस इन डिटेल द रोल ऑफ एंजियोटेंसिन कन्वर्टिंग एंजाइम इनहिबिटर ड्रग्स इन केस ऑफ पेशेंट्स विद इंजस्टिव कार्डियक फेलियर्स एंड वी हैव डिस्कस द बेनिफिट्स एज वेल बट आई वुड लाइक टू रिपीट फ्यू वर्ड्स अगेन दैट एंजियोटेंसिन कन्वर्टिंग एंजाइम इनहिबिटर्स नॉट ओनली रिड्यूस द मॉर्बिडिटी बट आल्सो रिड्यूस द मोर्टेलिटी इन द पेशेंट्स विद कार्डियक फेलियर राइट यू नो द रीजन वॉट आर द रीजन वाई द मॉर्बिडिटी एंड मॉर्टेलिटी बोथ आर रिड्यूस्ड वन रीजन इज दैट दे रिड्यूस द प्रीलोड एंड आफ्टर लोड ऑन हार्ट ऑन वेंट्रिकल्स one reason is that these drugs reduce the preload and after load on the heart so naturally they reduce the stress on the heart so heart is able to work in a better way number 2 that these drugs pathological remodeling pathological remodeling process in a failing heart right that also improves the mortality and mortality in the long run then these drugs also increase the patient's quality of life or you can say these drugs also reduce morbidity and mortality by reducing the chances of myocardial infarction reducing the chances of arrhythmia in these patients and reducing the chances of yes reducing the chances of chances of stroke in these patients right so all these things together right eventually lead to reduced morbidity and mortality in the patients with congestive cardiac failure right now again i will repeat that these drugs are one of the most important drugs in congestive cardiac failure and these drugs should be given in all the patients which with congestive cardiac failure right actually all the patients with re reduced ejection fraction reduced ejection fraction whenever ejection fraction is less than less than 35% whenever ejection fraction is less than 35% right a angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor drugs show beneficial effects and it is stated that lower the ejection fraction better is the benefits more beneficial are the drugs right now just name a few drugs of course one name right everyone knows that is captopril captopril about the captopril you must know that this is active drug is that right but remaining ace inhibitors are basically pro drugs and these pro drugs have to pass through the liver to be activated the other important drugs in this group are enalapril they are anela pril lecithino pril right ramipril rami pril and fosino fosino pril right now one thing which you have to remember that most of the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor drugs are pro drugs they have to pass through the liver and get hydroxylized over there and then they convert into active metabolites right the only active agent in this drug is captopril which does not require activation in the liver so important point about the captopril is that it is an active agent does not require activation in the liver other drugs are pro drugs and they need to be activated in the liver before they start their action another important point is that except for cyanop for cyanopril all drugs go out of the body through the kidney right again 
most of the drugs in angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor group they are eliminated through renal system except for sinopril for sinopril has balanced elimination it has balanced elimination from the body it goes out of the body through liver as well as from the kidney another important point related with this group of drug is that all these drugs can be taken orally and preferably they should be taken empty stomach because food retards their absorption right now we will talk about some important uses of ACE inhibitors other than congestive cardiac failure right there are so many uses I will just talk about few important uses of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor drug one use we have already discussed that is congestive cardiac failure especially when ejection fraction is reduced second use of this drug is that these drugs are very commonly used as anti hypertensive agents so they are used in hypertension right third important use of this drug is uh, group of this drug is that these drugs are used after recent MI right patients with recent myocardial infarction right when someone develops myocardial infarction uh, during the acute phase you must start angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors so that on the injured heart on infected heart ventricle area preload and afterload can be reduced and stress on the injured heart is reduced and they say that patient with the recent MI who are started on the ACE inhibitors they also have long term reduced morbidity and mortality right then these drugs are very important uh, in patients with diabetic nephropathy diabetic nephropathy let me explain little bit about the pathology of diabetic nephropathy and then I will explain how these drugs are good in diabetic nephropathy patients right look let's suppose this is the nephron right and you must be knowing that here is afferent arteriole these are glomerular capillaries and here is efferent arteriole this is afferent arteriole and this is efferent arteriole and here are mesangial cells here are mesangial cell and mesangium now in diabetic patient right there are two types of problem number one basement membrane of glomerular capillaries is damaged and proteinaceous substance oozes out proteinaceous substance from the glomerular capillaries goes to the mesangium and glomerular basement membrane and damages the mesangium as well as glomerular basement membrane and these proteinaceous substances right which go to the mesangium due to disturbed permeability process here they lead to the growth of mesangium and pathologies in mesangium right number two more important is that in patients with the diabetes they develop arterial arteriolosclerosis they develop arteriolosclerosis mean hardening of the walls of the vessels in afferent arteriole as well as these patients develop arteriolosclerosis in efferent arterioles again in diabetic nephropathy in diabetic patients they develop thickening of the walls of the afferent arterioles as well as thickening of the wall of the efferent arterioles when both arterioles are constricted is that right the blood flow to glomeruli is reduced the blood flow to glomeruli is reduced and in these patients an important point is that angiotensin 2 plays a very important role what is the role of angiotensin 2 that angiotensin 2 act on the receptors on efferent arterioles this is yeah angiotensin 2 
angiotensin 2 work on the receptors on efferent arteriole and keep them constricted and when the patients with diabetes right angiotensin 2 normally act more on the efferent arteriole and less on the efferent arteriole because angiotensin 2 has more receptors on efferent arteriole and keep that constricted due to this constriction there is glomerular hypertension there is high pressure in the glomeruli and that further leads to leakage of proteinaceous substances and further damage to the mesangium and mesangial growth and expansion produces damage to the glomerular operators is that right now what we really do if we give these patients with diabetic nephropathy captopril related drugs or ACE inhibitors there are multiple benefits number one that in these patients ACE inhibitors ACE inhibitors will reduce systemic blood pressure they will reduce systemic blood pressure naturally when systemic blood pressure is reduced by the ACE inhibitors overall damage by the systemic blood pressure to the glomerular structure is reduced number two when you have given angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor drugs right naturally angiotensin 2 level go down and when angiotensin 2 levels go down because this drug is given captopril or enalapril or related drug when angiotensin 2 levels are less then angiotensin 2 cannot keep the efferent arterioles constricted so what really happens that efferent arterioles dilate when efferent arterioles dilate blood can easily move from the glomerular capillary to the efferent arteriole and forward and pressure in the glomerular capillary is reduced it means there, there is reduced glomerular hypertension there is reduced glomerular hypertension it's worth repeating let me tell you in patient with diabetic nephropathy when you give the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors what really happens that angiotensin 2 level go down and angiotensin 2 with low levels cannot keep the efferent arterioles constricted so there is slight dilatation of efferent arterioles right when this slight dilatation of efferent arterioles then uh, blood in the glomerular cap capillaries moves forward easily so pressure in the glomerular capillary bed is reduced or we say that glomerular hypertension is reduced and leakage of you can say proteinaceous substances right to damage the mesangium and to damage the glomerular basement membrane is also reduced and that reduces the progression of diabetic nephropathy is that right then one more factor which is there is that overall reduction of angiotensin 2 overall reduction of angiotensin 2 also help in a very special way what is that special way you must remember now they say that angiotensin 2 act as a growth factor act as a stimulatory growth factor for mesangial cells angiotensin 2 can stimulate the growth factor act as a growth factor angiotensin 2 act as a growth factor on the mesangial cells and uh, if you are giving naturally if angiotensin 2 is acting as a growth factor on the mesangial cells so it means it is also leading to mesangial expansion and further diabetic nephropathy but when you give ACE inhibitor drugs angiotensin 2 level is less not only efferent arterioles dilate right but there is less growth stimulatory uh, action on the mesangial cells and there is further reduction in the progression of diabetic nephropathy right so this was something about the uses of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors that these drugs are used in congestive cardiac failure these drugs are used used as anti-hypertensive agents these drugs are used as uh, very importantly used in dab to reducing the progression of diabetic nephropathy even lately they have this found that angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors are also useful in diabetic retinopathy is that right when there is angiogenesis in the retina there also that prog that deter that deteriorative action of the diabetes on the retina is also reduced in the presence of 
angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors right after this now we will talk about some important side effects of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors right the adverse actions of captopril enalapril and related drugs right one of the very easy way to remember the side effects of this group is that just right here captopril right captopril the side effects of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors they can be easily remembered from the capto word captopril and let's see how number one 